Hallelujah. God is good. Oh, this is indeed a good Friday. Good. Everything is good enough. But today, 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 when you contemplate, when you consider what was done, that we could be here today to lift up the name of Jesus, to move and to dance. Come on. Come on, man. Jesus. Well, well, I believe the probably first time I may um, be hearing me preach. Um, is it good? Lie down. But my, my brother um, so, so saw me down, uh, happened to preach on the open air, he happened to be in the area. He come and tell, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. The theme for today is just saying I love you is not enough. Wake up. I'll repeat. Just saying I love you is not enough. Wake up. Now, when I receive, usually this, this, this has been my experience in my walk with, with God. God will speak at me like one-on-one. -on -one. The conversation will be on, you know, God speaking, Gregory, so, so, so. But then, the pastor, you say, pass it on to my people. So as I share with you, what God has shared with me concerning his concerns, he said to share it with the people, my people. Amen? So just saying, I love you is not enough. Wake up. According to John 5, 9, 4. It says, while I am with you, it is day. It is daytime. We must do the works of God who sent me while the light shines. For there is coming a dark night when no one will be able to work. Saints, there's a time factor. Make use of every opportunity. Because the days are being shortened. And every opportunity counts. When you wake up each day, opportunity begins. So we thank God. For seeing yet another day. Amen. So while I am with you, while I'm with you, it is daytime. All right? So we must do the works of God who sent me. So said God to us. While the light shines, for there is coming a dark night. Saints, we live in a time and age where we are clearly seen for our very selves that nothing is sure. There's no sure foundation. No one never considered at all, I believe, that COVID-19 would have affected us in that to that extent, no one's looking out for that, but it came suddenly. In many nations around the world, that once was Christian nations, they no longer are, and it has become unlawful to share the word. Now it's night, that is night time there. So when we feel that we have enough time. We don't have enough time. Because no man knows the time or the hour. Or when a person will die. If that was the last or that will be the last you will ever see that person. 
We assume that when we speak in the individual world, you expect to see them again, right? But we could clearly see, considering the time that we are living in, that no one knows. No one for sure could say, I'll be alive tomorrow, please. It's by God's mercies. So every day that God bless us with, count it all joy. Seize the opportunity to make it right. The wrongs that was made the day before to redeem. Make it right. Don't stay angry. After all, we ain't supposed to go to bed angry, right? As the word declares, right? It's a time factor, people. Jesus, Jesus. So Matthew 9, 37 states. He turned to his disciples and said, The harvest is huge and ripe, but there are not enough harvesters to bring it all in. Passion chapter. As we're familiar with, the harvest drive of laborers are few. So God is saying, time is of essence here. It's important we understand that. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. According to Matthew 28, 19, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go. So we need to go. What we need to do, people? Go and tell them. The Bible said to go. Make it personal. I want to make sure see what needs to be said. So God is saying, I need now a loving vessel to deliver my messages. I need now a loving vessel to deliver. Hmm. Love without sacrifice is not my kind of love. That will go to. Love without sacrifice is not my kind of love. There needs to be sacrifice. As my son sacrificed. He set the example. He gave it all. He was obedient to the cross. My son set the example for you to follow. God is saying. Obedience. We need to obey. Obedience comes first, sacrifice comes first. Not sacrifice, then obedience. No, that it doesn't work that way. Obedience. Sacrifice, they work hand in hand. Obedience, therefore, is sacrifice. I go, I make myself available to share the gospel, to make disciples of men. Amen. It's important to understand and don't take it lightly that the message that we are receiving right now about rapture is by chance. It was designed in heaven that this message would be preached right here at this season. So therefore take heed. Jesus. Don't take my son's sacrifice lightly, God is saying. Don't do it. Do not do it. Jesus. Put on the mind of Christ, man. As I couldn't share my word, God is saying, put on the mind of Christ. And then you'll be able to express the heart of the Father. Express it. Show. Do. Let us words i love you brother sister i love you neighbor and that's it oh no no 
it's not enough. It will not work now. You need to go. In fact, that's just the beginning. That's the introduction. You understand the love yet? You talk love. You understand the love yet? Amen? Love is an action word. Faith without works is dead. Same thing. Action. So dead. So those words are dead if there's no action to follow. So when you say I love you and there is no action to support that, therefore, no. Those are dead words. So many times I use a lot of dead words. To support that, right? Yeah. Love you, love you, love you. Oh. You remember what dear brother Jonah? Running from God. Running. The runner. God has said, don't do that. Do not do it. God has said, stop running from my call. Stop running, Gregory. The Lord gave this message to, to Jonah. Son of Amita, get up and go to the great city of Nineveh, announce my judgment against, because I have seen how wicked its people are. But Jonah got up, went into the opposite direction to get away from the Lord. He went down to the port of Joppa where he found a ship heading for Tarshish. He brought a ticket and went on board, hoping to escape from the Lord by sailing to Tarshish. Hoping to escape. But the Lord hauled a powerful wind over the sea, causing a violent storm that, that threatened to break the ship apart. Fearing for their lives, the desperate sailors shouted to the, their gods for help and threw the cargo overboard to lighten the ship. But all this time, Jonah was sung asleep down in the ship. So the captain went down after him. How can you sleep at a time like this? He shouted, get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will pay attention to us and spare our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Get up. Wake up. God is saying, wake up, Gregory, you're sleeping. But I just went out to Valencia and she expound the word of God on a Valencia. Oh, how you feel sleeping? To whom much is given, much is required. To whom much is given, much is required. Psalms 139 7. To 10, speak of David shared concerning running from God. You can't run from God. I, I wouldn't read it, but just take note of it, right? We cannot run from God. Wherever you go, he's there. Wherever it may be, the utmost part of you, he's right there. Seeing it all. So let's go back to Jonah's situation. While confusion and mayhem taking place upstairs in the ship, Jonah is in the basement cabin in a, in a deep sleep, boy. Hmm. And you know what the Lord shared with me after? The church is asleep, pursuing its own desires and aspirations, and thereby compromising. Jesus, I'm misinterpreting my word. The God is in the church is sleeping right now. Sleeping. Jesus, it is said that the closest thing to death is sleep. We are dead. All right? But 
be sleeping. A sleeping Christian will not see the urgency to attend prayer meeting. Ouch. I try to keep it that way. I try not to add it. Now, it does not say, let me just say this. It does not say that when you come to church or when you don't miss any prayer meeting, that you're obedient or fulfilling God's assignment. No. It's only the beginning. So therefore then, if you're coming to pray and there's no action to support your prayer, it comes like a waste of dead words. You didn't mean it because you didn't act upon it. Therefore, you did right to stay home or do whatever needs to be done. As you see, to be urgent. You understand the point I'm making? So how crucial it is. So you could be in prayer meeting. You could be in every single service. Doing this and doing that. Real busy. And yet, not being obedient to the Spirit's prompting. Therefore, you're serving table. Which will not be recorded. Flush it down. Flush it. Hmm. So, you know, he's speaking to me directly, and I, you know, heavily involved, you know, right? A lot of things. But, hmm, I say, wow. Gregory, you're asleep. You're sleeping still. Jesus. Uh, a sleeping Christian is in danger and doesn't know it. He's been used as a tool by the enemy and he or she doesn't know it. Consider this, saints. And those are looking at me on Zoom. Hear this. A sleeping Christian will not see the urgency to attend prayer, to have prayer, or even to pray. A sleeping Christian in danger and does not know it. A sleeping Christian may talk about Jesus. Yes, he talk about it. Yeah, I should talk about Jesus, man. Where I go, man? Talk about Jesus. How many people? But many people also talk in their sleep. That, 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 that's the reference. The Lord gave them. Yeah, talk in their sleep. I sure you have experienced that. Well, hearing people talk in their sleep. Some people talk things that that brings them um, put them in a compromising position. Yeah. Yes. Jesus. A sleeping Christian may say, but I have joy and rejoice in the Lord. Like this morning, rejoicing and dancing and singing. Yeah, because real joy and we dance. You know, you know when I dance, I dance. Is that so? You know me when I dance like dancing. I don't know if it was observing the mother and her sister. But then I found my TV. Little sister. Sister. But <laughs> still sleeping. Had to receive it. You're still sleeping, God says. You're sleeping, Gregory. You're sleeping. Get up. 
You don't stone there say that I love you. Wake up and do the works that I say to do in the time that I say to do it to Greg. On time, because time is of essence. Time. <clears throat> yes. So a sleepy Christian may say, but I have joy and rejoice in the Lord. But many people also laugh in their sleep. Pretty children. I think about Jesus all the time. But you can think while you are asleep. It is called dreaming. We are asleep, God is saying. The church is asleep. You could say what? God is saying, church is sleeping still. A believer who maybe believe that he is doing much for God, but the Bible declares that anything that is done without faith or sanctioned by the Holy Spirit is sin. Amen. Do you not know that many people walk in their sleep too? Still sleeping. <clears throat> Jesus. Fine. And to when much is given, much is required. The harvest is plenteous. Labor is true. When a foot passes the stage, you know remember the harvest is ripe. Eh? But you know, when a fruit ripens to the extent to start to rot, there isn't much use at that point in time. And as the Bible declares this year now, it's a right of the church is is giving the church is producing in like the efforts that the, 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 that the church is um, presenting right now to the population worldwide is like using shovel pickaxe and fork it's slow pickaxe shovel fork it's slow and i, I used to deal with heavy equipment so a pity when, when, when i saw that image i saw this big deed we are deed big as this it, it kind of take take this hole from the that's a deer to here. Right? From here to here. The pick remove all here. Please right up too. Right up here. Massive. Right up here. So consider now the deer tractor against the people with the pickaxe, shovel and fork. In one, in one shot. I used to work at the corner. The one I first day at the end, the jet come on the walk. I sweat it and the thing there. I think it just comes over. I'm going to go over six times. I'm going to go over You understand what I'm saying? And he laugh at them and they laugh. You understand? So, God is saying now, when we come together, take any time into consideration, there's not much time. When we come together as one, we need to reverse this, this, this. If it's one thing, you need to change. In, in the word of God. Don't change the word of God. If one thing you need to change is this. The harvest is plenteous, but laborers are many. If one thing you need to change, it, it must be a reality that laborers are many. Amen. The so God is saying, we are using shovel, pickaxe, and fork. When we have dates, 
When you have excavators to lick up the job in no time at all. The effect change in our society. Wind soars all over man. Because power, unity, strength, a powerful force. They can't stop that date. That D12 to it. Pushing everything in its path. But the church is sleeping. And the pickers very slow to uh, went very slow to it. Uh, and the image again. Slow. Slow motion. Jesus. The church is asleep. Wake up! God is saying, Wake up! Hallelujah! Jesus, let me quote this from one of pastors and favorite author. Charles. Sleeping, sleepy Christian. Let me shout in thy ears. Thou art sleeping while souls are being lost. Sleeping while men are being damned. Sleeping while hell is being peopled. Sleeping while Christ is being dishonored. Sleeping while the devil is grinning at the sleepy face. Sleeping while demons are dancing wrong. They are slumbering carcass. And telling it in hell that the Christian is asleep. You will never catch the devil asleep. Let not the devil catch you asleep. Watch and be sober that you may be always up to do your duty. You have a duty to perform. You have a duty. God says, the Bible says, Jesus said this. Two things he said, two perform things before he left eh? Before he left this earth. According to John 13, 30, 34. Love one another as I have loved you. Go and make disciples of men. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Period. That is it. If you get them two things together. Power. 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So people saints, the church is asleep. Asleep, producing their aspirations, picture a security guard in the boot, preoccupied with other things, probably. While thieves are having their way, left, thieves already did do what they had to do, leave them gone. Owner of the building came and observed things missing. That's what's happening in the, in the body of Christ. People are preoccupied with our own affairs. So, I just want to ask, ask us to consider this particular word. I know that we're just scratching the surface. So what I did on it, I know I, I, I know I, I, you know, you know when you know that it is, your potential is not being utilized properly. You know you're wasting time. You know, you know you're wasting time. You just know that you're not doing enough. You're not doing sufficient. Love, I don't believe that we fully grasp or believe to fully express the love of God as yet. I don't believe that we reach there. Otherwise, how could we? How could we see a tsunami coming in? Having an aerial view. Seeing a tsunami coming in. Like rapture is on its way. Rapture could take us any time, but you're actually seeing it. Aerial view. You're seeing a tsunami come and you're seeing where it's heading for. You're seeing people there 
frolicking, preoccupied. How could you know after you have landed now, after seeing all that, sit back and don't tell, don't sound alarm that the tsunami is coming. Rapture could take place anytime. How could we relax and business as usual? How could we go home and sit down and eat and enjoy our meal as usual? Not considering nothing else. I know I start to love you. There's much to do. There's much surrendering to take place. Much surrendering to take place. How could we stand early by that we even have our own flesh and blood in harm's way and not share with urgency? How could we? Who does that? A non-believer? Believe in Christ? Just believe then. So these, these questions we need to ask ourselves, right? Let's examine ourselves.